just how safe is a chemical pill? Dr. Steve Jepson says not to be intimidated by the title of the procedure, chemical pill. People hear that and they think it sounds a little too abrasive. It sounds scary or we're taught that we're supposed to keep acids away from our skin because it can damage our skin, but not true. Certain acids are good for your skin and you want to put them on your skin. And what acids are good and what acids are not good? Well, when we do a chemical peel, it involves putting acid on the skin and there's four or five that are typically used. Glycolic acid is probably the one most people have heard of. Salicylic acid is also a common one. Lactic acid, kojic acid. So several different acids involved. Your esthetician will kind of help you decide which is best for your skin. And how does a chemi chemical pill work? Well, it's exactly. kind of cool. So, so acids are meant to dissolve things. And with the skin, a skin-safe acid also dissolves things. You put it on the skin. Here's going to be a good example of this. You have an outer layer of dead, dirty skin that you don't want. You want to get rid of. You put acid on the top. It dissolves down through. It breaks those bonds that hold those cells together. And then those superficial, dirty, dead cells that you don't want come off. And underneath, you have a layer of nice, healthy, clean, bright skin. And so that's what a chemical pill does. It takes that layer off, makes your skin much nicer. Now, it also kind of helps dissolve out all the dirt and debris that are in your pores. So people are often asking me, how do I shrink my pores? Well, chemical peels can help with that. Chemical peels also kind of irritate the skin, so it can cause new collagen formation, and you want new collagen to help your skin look younger. And it'll also kind of help fade mild sunspots. When you said irritates the skin in a good way, in, a in good ways way. that we want to do that, does it right. cause some redness days after? Well, that's another thing about the nice thing about a chemical pill is there's really not a lot of downtime with this. You'll feel a little bit flaky as that skin peels off. For a couple of days, there'll be a little bit of flakiness, a little bit of redness, but it's not it's not a big downtime kind of procedure. A lot can be accomplished without you looking like you've had something done. And how often can you have a chemical pill or how often should you have a chemical pill? Ideally you want to make it part of your regular routine. Every six to eight weeks is ideal. It will kind of help regenerate your skin, help your skin continue to look fresh. A lot of a lot of women really make that part of their regimen in order to keep their skin looking as young as it could look. And you point out it's very important to consider who does the procedure on your skin. Right. You want to you want to have a master esthetician ideally do a chemical pill. Here's some video of, of our master esthetician in our office and I wanted partly to shoot this too to show how easy this is. It's really a gentle relaxing procedure. People think acid, they think drama. It's not that way at all. It, it, it's kind of think of it as a, as a supersized facial. Um, and if you go to a doctor's office, at a doctor's office the estheticians can always do more aggressive chemical pills so you'll accomplish more with your chemical pill. But overall it's a nice a nice procedure, very popular procedure at our office. I've heard, I've heard women just swear by it. My girlfriend swear by it. Not painful. No, no. I mean, it, it stings a little bit, but you don't have to be afraid of it. You don't sit there in pain for an hour like you can with, with, with some procedures. It's really a nice procedure. And you will notice a difference immediately. And, and you'll notice a difference with your first procedure. You can get one and notice a difference. You can do a series of three and notice a difference. You can make them part of your, your regular routine and notice a difference, too. All right. The chemical pill. Don't be frightened by the title. And if people have questions, they can certainly contact you. Yes, they can. And we have a special on chemical pills at our office this month. All right. What's the special? $60 for a pill. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Okay, good price there. If you have questions or you'd like to book your appointment, you can visit Dr. Jepson's website, udmpc.com. We'll have all of the information posted on the Studio 5 website as well as some additional information about the procedure if you have some lingering questions.